My name is Kevin Wood. On paper, I'm a pastry baker, but I'm also a musician and becoming a dancer and um, other forms of artist. And I'm from Blacksburg, Virginia. I lived effectively in Blacksburg for since about 2001, so like almost 15 years. It was kind of in the Christiansburg, Blacksburg area. I thought um, when I graduated, I was going to move straight to Denver, which would have been two years ago. So I didn't expect to be here quite this long. I ended up getting a job in Roanoke was nearby and I didn't have I had a couple leads in the you know Colorado area as far as like jobs after graduation but none of them came through so I ended up sticking around here plus I already you know know a lot of people and was just kind of get into the scene a little bit. Before I graduated I had a co-op position working with this guy uh, locally. It was a small land development company which I worked for before I graduated and then after I graduated I worked for a large company called Acom since then, I've been working in Baldwin's Cafe and Baker. I wasn't really enjoying working as an engineer. Uh, it wasn't as artistic as I well, I wasn't expecting to be artistic, but I was expecting there to be some like ownership of the product and like be able to sort of put my mark on it a little bit and stuff. And that wasn't happening. And it was all run by money and this and that. It just wasn't enjoyable and it wasn't rewarding. And I guess I've. Then a sort of a cook, like a personal cook at home, and then did a lot of baking when I was younger, and just like enjoy doing that in general, and definitely was able to like work out some of my creativity with that kind of thing. So uh, while I was working at the engineering job, one of my friends who was a baker at Bolo's was moving out, I was trying to find someone to replace her. So she just asked me if I knew anyone, and was like, oh man, I would love to do that, but I was already working full time. And then she asked me like, why, why don't you? It started off as just baking for the case, as we call it, which is baking for like the shop every day. It's typically muffins and scones and cookies and things like that. And then I started taking on some extra stuff. We have a sister restaurant called Gillies, who we provide the desserts for. Well, they buy from us anyway, but all the desserts come from us. And I've um, kind of taken over that, so I do a lot of desserts for them now too, which can be coming in um, kind of any time during the week, depending on what they need. The place that I became comfortable as an artist, I would say, and as far as like singing out loud in front of people and just being okay with people listening to me, was on the bench in front of Bolo's. Just because when I was in school, or in, yeah, I guess while I was in school and even when I was taking breaks and stuff, I would go there a lot. You know, it was like a nice coffee shop kind of place. You could sit there all day, you'd see all different kinds of people and people you knew, and it's just a nice place to kind of be. And they had this nice bench that was always sunny, and so I just start kind of playing there, and then I start singing there, and. You know, I think some of the people are a little annoyed, but for the most part, I would get some like, positive feedback and grow some confidence. It's kind of where it started. A lot of the gigs I've gotten have actually been people coming to me just as far as needing people to open up stuff or this and that. majority of my life was drawing and it used to be just like doing with pencil now I do most of my work in ink just like with a pen on the spot um, a lot of doodling of like people and stuff I do all these different hobbies because I used to have to I have a I just have like all this like with this with the music in particular um, I'm just constantly writing music it just sort of keeps happening and I'll kind of go in and out like I'll get kind of like down or depressed or whatever and it'll slow down and then when I come back up you know I'll get more into it but I'm just they're always kind of coming out um, with the dancing is just sometimes you gotta move and with the drawing I've been doing it for a while and it's just like you know I need to do these things a little bit um, also I've been kind of exploring particularly with the dance and stuff just sort of exploring my comfort zone and just trying to get over any kind of anxiety um, so for me it's also like actively doing new things or just trying different things and just kind of exploring my internal landscape is becoming increasingly important and I can do it through all of these different hobbies or you know passions or whatever you want to call them. Some of my friends will say like wow you have so many hobbies or different things you do and um, and just sort of like a maze that I sort of spread myself in so many different directions 
And I always think it's kind of funny when they say that because I don't see these as being hobbies. I see these as all being like little sort of facets of myself. These are all things that I'm exploring and I'm exploring myself through them. Um, and I don't want to drop any of that, you know. So for me, it's just like all these different things, all these different ways that I'm sort of growing as a person. Um, and I don't, I don't see ever weeding them out or focusing on one. Like for me, it's just continual exploration, almost like a, like a slow explosion of a person. Um, and that's just kind of, that's kind of what I want my life to be. If you were to look at the world as there being two general paths, one in which society kind of makes you conform to some shape and follow this path of, you know, get a job, work up a, work up a, some sort of corporate ladder, get a wife, get a house, all that kind of stuff, which is what I used to think I was going to do, that's why I went to school. Um, and then there's this other one of basically anything else. I definitely see the anything else. I don't really see retiring at any point since I don't really see working you know, a job that I'd want to retire from. I don't see building any kind of career because there's so many different things I want to try. I mean, I'm, I want to get more serious in my music and become, you know, a mus musician that's being maybe paid ever, um, which will be like one thing to work on, but I'm also a pastry chef right now. I kind of want to become a sailor at some point. I want to do a lot of hiking and, and who knows what. So, and there's just no, I don't think there's a good way to do all those things if you're trying to like work in one area. So I see myself kind of bouncing around, I don't know. I don't know how that'll work in a relationship or anything like that, so I'm not going to worry about it.